Yo, what's going on? What's happening? Mm-mm-mm. So, first and foremost, I want to say, you know, to um, to the uh, King family, um, my condolences goes out to 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 um, Dr. Martin Luther King's son. He passed away, I think, today at 62 years old. Dexter Scott King, I think that was his name. You know what I'm saying? Um, and um, you know, um, I feel I feel sorry for him. I feel I feel bad. You know what I'm saying? My condolences goes out to the family once again. You know what I'm saying? He passed away from prostate cancer. You know, and um, this is not a, a video that I wanted that I'm doing to bash him. You know, um, this is just a wake up call to. Uh, black America, specifically black men. You know what I'm saying? Oftentimes, you hear about black men, they, they pass away from two things, two cancers, colon cancer and prostate. You know what I'm saying? And we could go on and on and on um, and, and, and really listen to what, 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 what the uh, skeptics talk about, you know what I'm saying? As um, far as what causes prostate cancer, you know, we can say that, you know, it has nothing to do with your diet and this and that and so forth. But let me tell you something, man. This is real. You know, um, if it doesn't have anything to do with your diet and you could just eat whatever you want to eat, why is it that people that eat whatever they want to eat have poor health? Why is it that people eat whatever they want to eat always suffer some, from some type of ailment? I've never seen, you know, any healthy people, a person, you know what I'm saying? Now, I know there's exceptions to the rules. You know what I'm saying? I know some diseases, diseases, you know what I'm saying? And sicknesses are passed down from one one um, generation to the next, you know, through, through, our, your genet through your genetics, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, most people that are healthy, they don't have to go through, you know what I'm saying, this whole prostate cancer, colon cancer, and all the rest of that stuff. And you know what? Let me tell you something about being healthy. You don't necessarily have to take things to the extreme like I do, you know what I'm saying? Well, at least what people would say the extreme, which is being a vegetarian. All you have to do is just eat a little bit more healthier than what you're eating. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from processed food. This is a no-brainer. Stay away from processed food. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, if you eat out and you just can't stop eating out, then at least slow down. Drink more water. You know, people pick on me all the time in the comment section of these videos that I do. No matter what video I do, I get a video, I get a comment all the time. No matter what video, what topic I talk about, I comment all the time. Yo, man, you drink too much water. That's fine, though. That's fine. You see, the reason why I drink, as you would put it, too much water, too much water is because I wanna, I wanna have too much life. In other words, I wanna live, I wanna live to 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 uh to see my children's children have children that's real and i care about myself i really do and black men in specific black men we got this whole ego pride stupid arrogant shit well, we, we, you know, this, this whole thing of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a man, you know, I don't eat vegetables. I don't eat fruit. I eat meat. And that shit is crazy to me. That's crazy to me because you are what you eat. So whatever that animal ate is what you're going to eat. Whatever injections, whether it's hormones or whatever it was injected in. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a thing called food industry. And these uh, uh, brands, such as Tyson's Chicken, they got to make money. So oftentimes you'll see that there's hormones and steroids injected into the meat. Well, guess what? Whatever... If you're eating Tyson's chicken, whatever they injecting into their chicken or, or beef or whatever, you're going to eat it. And that's the thing. And then it's another thing, too, is, you know, man and, and, and just America is so fixated on this whole thing of you can only get protein from goddamn meat, which is a lie. Which is a lie. I can show you my whole family. 
And we don't, I haven't, listen, I haven't ate any meat for the last 20 years. The mother of my children, 20 years. And then I have children that have never ate meat. And they butterball plump. Healthy looking. Strong. So it's a myth that you can only receive protein from eating meat. Because I'm gonna say, I've been saying this for years. Now people are saying it. Now I'm hearing it, it's circulating around the internet. But I've been saying this ever since I got on the internet. Where do where does it, your cow, where does your chicken, chicken get its protein from? And the reality of it is, is that we're not even, excuse me, it's not me. You all are not even eating real meat. You know what I'm saying? You're not even eating real meat. You don't even know what the fuck you're eating nowadays. Nobody knows to be real with you. When you go to the grocery store. But the least thing that you could do is focus more on fruits and vegetables. Add that to your life, to your diet. Exercise. I don't see, you know what I see in the, in the gym? You know who I see in the gym? I see a lot of Caucasians, a lot of non-blacks, but the black people that I do see, they're not doing any cardio. You just hitting, you doing a basic shit. You bench, you benching, you doing half-ass squats because I don't see y'all really squatting. Motherfuckers claim they can lift 350, 450 on their back squatting and shit and they don't go all the way down. You either at the squat rack, the bench, um, incline, decline bench, bench press, Regular bench press. Where else do I see your leg press? That's it. I don't see no black people hitting the. I don't see no black people doing pull ups like that. And you're not doing full length pull ups. I don't see anyone doing push ups like that. I don't see anyone damn hitting a rope. I don't see anyone doing cardio like that that's black. And it's crazy. When you start talking about health, people will scatter. But the only way that you're going to be able to live an abundant life, abundant, abundant life, is if you take care of yourself. We quick to take care of our car. We quick when, when there's a time for all change, we'll change the oil immediately. Let something happen to a black man's car. He'll be quick to get that shit fixed quicker than he'll take care of his child or his health. And that's real talk. And these videos are not here to discourage you. It's actually here to motivate you and inspire you to be a better you. This man died at 62 years old. That's young. That's young. But oftentimes you hear this in the black community. Well, you got to die from something. So you already died before? You already died before. I've seen death. I've seen people uh, 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 die a slow, miserable life from diabetes. And the list goes on as sicknesses and diseases. Who would want to live like that? And then he asked me this question. Well, you know what? No, 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 no. This is what they'll say. This is what these meat eaters, what these motherfuckers that's unhealthy and just fucking fat as shit always say. Well, you know, man, you in, in perfect health. You can't, you, you know, if you get hit by a car, you could die instantly. So you're not saying nothing. I'd rather die. If that's the case, I'd rather die healthy. I'd rather die healthy. But see, in this world, if you got money, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. If you have money, if you a six-figure nigga, you could cover all up all the blemishes and all of the fat and all the rest of that shit. Or if you're just a regular fat dude, out of shape dude that don't give a fuck about his health. All you got to do it nowadays, Rick Ross, a, a lot of people brought the beard back in. So all you got to do is just get that edge up, get the Beijing. You know what I'm saying? You got gray hairs, get the Beijing and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Get the 3D shit like them young boys got. Wear a couple of tailor-made suits that are sucking that damn stomach. If you got a receding hairline and you ain't got no hair, nowadays they got man weaves. 
All of this shit, all of the cosmetics that you got to do in order to look decent. Where it's as simple as just changing your fucking diet. That's real talk. I hate the winners. The reason why I hate the, the winners because the winner, the winner is not my season. The summers are. When the summer comes, I shave all of this shit off. My face is all cut up and all the rest of that shit. Shit slows down for me in the winter time. But as 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 the um the seasons change and the temperature progresses, you know what I'm saying? It gets hotter. You'll see a total difference in my appearance. So I love me. I love taking care of myself. Man, shit, I got some Seymour's coming in right now. As soon as I finish with this video, I gotta, you know what I'm saying, get home and, and check my mailbox. I got Seymour's coming right now. Every morning I get up, I take my vitamin C. Yo, there's a, <coughs> you hear that? <coughs> I've been having this cough for a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Everybody ha is having a certain, certain uh, 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 a cold or a cough or something like that. And all I see, and when I get up in the morning, all I see is chemtrails all in the sky. They are fucking straight up poisoning us. So I stay on my shit and it's almost gone. You know what I'm saying? I'm coughing up my phlegm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm getting up in the morning. I'm taking my vitamin C. I'm taking zinc. And then and then do, um, when, when I eat my lunch, you know what I'm saying? I um I um after I eat my lunch, you know what I'm saying? I take my vitamin D3 and uh my um calcium. And then at night I take my magnesium. I don't play. My lunch, my lunch and dinner, I sprinkle spirulina, beet powder, turmeric on my shit. I got a whole mixture. I don't play when it comes to health. I don't play. But it seems as though that black people in particular want to fuck around with them, with their health. And I don't get it. Let me tell you something. Man, I'm going to keep this shit a buck, my nigga. Never forget it. I was in Atlanta wilding, wilding. I'm talking about like the 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 one the, close to the end of the year, that, like the last year that I stayed there. I was wilding because I was going through so much, so many changes. You know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just so awkward to see black people in the state that they're in. You know what I'm saying? How black people treat one another down there. But I was wilding. You know what I'm saying? I was drinking wine. I was getting pretty much fucked up every every night. You know what I'm saying? I was a starchitarian at that time. You know what I'm saying? Starchitarian meaning I was eating pizzas, fries, and all the rest of that shit. Yeah, I got in my vegetables and shit like that, but it wasn't like that. Yeah, I got up in the morning and I worked out, and before I worked out, I had my I was juicing and shit like that. But for the most part, I was I, I wasn't focused on my diet. And I'm gonna tell you, this is real talk. My dick said. Burr. And the minute that I couldn't, this is my word. I'm not making this shit up. Why would I make some embarrassing shit up? For real. But that's how real I'm keeping it. You know what I'm saying? The minute my motherfucking dick, Mr. Johnson, I call him that. The minute Mr. Johnson started fucking up and my pretty lady started saying, yo, what's up? Because normally you come strong. I said, Fuck this shit. Some of you all are taking ED pills and still eating what the fuck you eating and not realizing that that is the main cause of your erectile dysfunction. You see, I love fucking way more better than Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, and the list goes on. Rue Chris, if you want to get bougie. Let's real talk. I don't play around. And ever since I got on my shit, back on my shit, you know, that was years ago. I ain't had no problems. None. None. 
And it's obvious I really don't have that much problems because I got a bunch of kids. Like, I'm going to reiterate that shit because I know some of y'all want to wanna run with that shit. Oh, you got a bunch of babies. I got one. I got kids by one person. But yeah, man. Nobody's promised forever. A healthy person could die tomorrow. Yes, yeah, you can get hit by a car. You can, you can die in a plane and all the rest of that shit. But I'd rather die healthy than to die as a sick man. That's real talk. People my age, man, please. Motherfuckers is all grayed up and shit. And, and you know what bothers me the most when, when I when I talk to people, people look at me and shit. They act like I died my fucking. My hair's been this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. All my life has been red. I don't die shit. I ain't one of them funny bunnies. My beard has been, has been like this. I don't die shit. I don't do the Beijing. I don't do none of that. This is my natural tint. But people that I meet, motherfuckers is dying in here and shit like that. Niggas is dying constantly. You know, Beijing and Beijing and Beijing and Beijing and hiding that gray. Trying to hide that fact. Like right now I'm bulking, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a little, you know, thicker than usual. But that's bulking. I'm talking about fat, lard ass type shit. Man, that shit be crazy to me, man. How y'all motherfuckers don't want to live. And then, and then hate me when your girl looking at me. Straight up. Because at the end of the day, let me tell you something. Women, I know women are out for that money. I know it. I know women are out for that money, but let me tell you something for real. It ain't nothing like one of them niggas that stroll through that ain't got no money. He got a good, a, a nice body and shit. He keep himself up the par. Guess what he's, guess what happens? That bitch, I'm just keeping it real though. You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad at me. Don't hate the play, hate the game. That broad, she getting you for your money, but she fucking that nigga. He ain't got to pay for shit. He's just laying down the pipe right. While you spending your money on that broad. While they spending their money. I've done it. I've done it. I've been one of them dudes. We going out on your dime. And it ain't no one's fault but you. Cause money can't buy every damn thing. Sure can't. Sure as hell can't buy uh, uh, health. It can't. All these diet pills out here. Now this dumb shit they got where you can you can get an injection and all. Man, all that shit. Kim Kardashian. All that shit. Man, that shit is. That shit is gonna catch up in t with you in the long run. Pe women and men, they're getting their shit cut up and all the rest of that shit. Why don't you just get you a decent gym pass? Why don't you just go to the gym? The gym is the gym. Double entendre. G-Y-M is G-E-M. It's the jewels of life. This is crazy. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? People such as myself and others, we just sit back and just be like, all right, cool. You don't want to get, you don't want to work out. You don't want to, you don't want to hit them, those, 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 those weights and all the rest of that shit and, and get on the, the peck machine and get your chest right and all that. That's cool. We'll take care of that though. That man died at 62 years old. And like I said, man, he rests in peace. But at the same time, come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. For real. Let's, let's just be real, man. Let's be real. No disrespect. He was selfish. He was selfish to his family. He, he probably had more years left. But he chose. And I, and I know I know somebody's going to argue me down. Like, man, you know, he was eating right. He was doing this and that and so forth. I bet you he was one of them dudes. For real. I bet you he was one of them dudes where it was like too late. You know how many motherfuckers I met like that? 
Straight up. Where I would be like, yo, you should take herbs and this and that and so forth. And motherfuckers be like, yo, man, I take herbs and it don't work. Yeah, because you started taking it too late. Herbs are not magical. They are there to assist the body. But if your body, if your immune system and everything is, is, is at an all-time low and it ain't functioning properly, it ain't no herbs in the fucking world gonna cure your shit. Your diseases or your sicknesses. Sickness. But it's all right though, you know what I'm saying? It's all right, if you wanna live that life, live that life. But I'm telling you, me, on the other hand, I ain't gonna feel sorry for you. I'm not. I don't feel sorry for a goddamn family member that passed away due to their own ignorance and stupidity. Real talk. Because they committed neutricide. I'm not gonna respect you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna feel sorry for you. My cousin got her leg, before she died from a diabetic coma, she got her leg amputated. Before that, she got her toes amputated. Before that, her teeth fell out. You know how many fucking warnings your, her body gave her? And she still kept on smoking and drinking and all the rest of that shit that she did. You think I felt sorry for her fucking ass? No. Period. And don't tell me I'm trying to act like no woman when I say period. Because in the beginning, years ago, we used to say point blank period. And then we shorted it and said period. I don't feel sorry for them. I just don't. You smoke cigarettes, you drink. Yo, I should smoke cigarettes and drink. <coughs> I remember those days. I remember motherfucking getting up every morning and washing my motherfucking face and washing, going and for you, all you smokers, start, if you don't, wash your nose, wash your, your nostrils, and then pull it out and you'll see tar all on your rag, black brown shit. That's what's going inside your lungs. I was that nigga. That used to stay up all night drinking. Matter of fact, to be real with you, if you don't believe that I used to get, I used to get down like that, ask Pretty Ricky. When I got fired from UPS and I was broke as shit and I was like, yo, my man, could you at least give me a pack of cigarettes and a 40 ounce? He'll attest to it. But now we grown men. Pretty Ricky and I, and now we, you know what I'm saying? We healthy, we on this health kick. See, some of you young motherfuckers think that you're gonna live forever. That's how we used to think. Until life hits you. And you start realizing, yo, I ain't Iron Man anymore. I can't outsmoke this person and outdrink that person. Not anymore. That shit catches up. It catches up to you, man. I'm telling you, this is my word. This is my word. Whew. That shit catches up to you. All them years you chiefing up, all the down and drinking, drinking, fucking, all that shit, it catches up to you. I'm telling you. If you look in your rear view mirror as you're driving, You'll see bad health running right behind you. <laughs> he running fast now because you, you know, he's trying to keep up with you. Cause you're young. But when you get older, that nigga gonna grab you. He gonna be right there next to you. Catches up to you, man. Catches up to you. So I would advise all you young motherfuckers to start doing right now. So you won't have to worry about repairing your shut your shit later. Straight up. These people my age got pacemakers and shit. You don't know what a pacemaker is? That's when your heart stops and then the pacemaker comes in and boom. Electrocutes your heart to make it start jumping, you know, pumping again. Pfft. 
I know motherfuckers that got that diabetes thing, the diabetes pack, like on the side of, the, of his chest, and it, and, it, and it injects insulin inside his body and shit every couple of hours. Man, you want to live like that, my nigga? You want to live like that? That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me, man. That's crazy. Y'all can joke on me all you want. This morning, I woke my punk ass up and went to that fucking well and got this motherfucking water. I got, what did I get? I got, I got four or five gallon jugs. And so I got 23 gallons of water. And it'll last me up to like, you know, I, I have to repeat it. You know what I'm saying? Next week, I have to refill it up. I don't play these games, man. I don't. Call me a cornball all you want. Call me all you want. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all that nigga eat his grass. Okay. Fine. You keep on eating your genetically modified meat. You know what I'm saying? Keep on. And I know you smart out it's going to be like, well, you keep on eating your genetically modified vegetables. That's fine. First of all, you don't know where I get my vegetables from. And then the second thing is if you want to play that game, that's fine. Cool. I got gene I'm eating genetically modified vegetables. But guess what? In a couple more months, I'll be growing my own shit. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Black people with this, you gotta die from something. Shit. How far has that gotten us? We include bad diets, diet, uh, bad eating habits in everything we do, whether it's weddings, graduations, Super Bowl parties. Oh Lord, you y'all, I know y'all about to get fucked up again. Like, like I know this tis the season to be wobbly. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like Thanksgiving hits you, boom. You gotta eat Thanksgiving dinner until you pass the fuck out until your body says you eat. You this is the reason why you go to sleep. You your body says you have consumed too much meat, too much food. We have to shut you down. Cause you are overloading the digestive system. That's the reason why you go into a comatose state, you sleep. Cause your body can't process the shit. While you're up, it's too much. You got Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, you get fucked up and drunk. Everybody, for New Year's, it's perfectly fine for everybody to get fucked up. You bringing in the New Year's, getting fucked up. Then, Super Bowl runs, rolls, rolls around. You got to get fucked up then. You got to drink and eat all types of chicken wings and buffalo wings and all the rest of that shit. Then February the 14th rolls around. You got to take your, 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 your woman out somewhere nice to eat. Then Easter comes. Then Memorial Day weekend. Then the 4th of July. Then Labor Day. And, and, it, and, and it keeps on repeating every year. And you wondering why you a fat ass. Oh yeah, my fault. What am I saying? During the summer, you having cookouts too. What you say? I gotta put some on that grill. T-bone steak. Yeah, man. Wonder why your arteries clogged. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. You women constantly talking about some yeah, you ain't nothing but baby fat, bitch. You don't have them children, and them children are fucking adults. What the fuck are you talking about? You know, this ain't nothing but baby fat. Yo, your son is 29 and your daughter is 23. Man, yo, this shit be crazy to me, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, yo, man, I remember, um, that clip with T. Grizzly, Grizzly or whatever, they did some shit. Him and Fat Boy, I think that's his name. 
both of them um t gizzly he's a rapper and fat boy he's like a social media you know what i'm saying he's famous and he do skits and shit like that they did a a, a shit they did some shit with him you know they were talking about eating that nigga that nigga was like t gizzly was like i think that's his name he was like yeah man it should be two seasons and fat boy was like I think it's Fat Boy SSE. I think that's that's what he call himself. He's like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the food, man. It be two seasons. <laughs> yo, man. And that's a that's a funny thing. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Like, yo, man. Y'all don't even realize that it's not the meat that y'all like. It's like the texture and the seasoning, and that's it. Try eating meat. Without any type of like, for example, steak, uh, uh, a one sauce. Uh, excuse me, steak. Try try eating steak without a one sauce or any type of seasoning. That should just be dry as shit. So like, yo, man, you can duplicate that shit with vegetables, for real. But I mean, man, it is what it is, man. I, I'm I'm just gonna tell you like this, man. Just put some, try to put some fruits, some, some put some fruits and vegetables, you know, in your diet. You know, work out. You know, if you ain't into working out, if you don't want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger or Ronnie Coleman, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Just get out there. You know what I'm saying? Get to the park. You know what I'm saying? Do a little bit of running, or, you know, little push-ups, this and that, so forth. Have your own little regimen. Other than that, man, I'm telling you, you keep on doing what you're doing. You're going to end up like Dr. King's son. Straight up. Straight up, man. Um, other than that, man. May Dr. Martin Luther King's son rest in peace. I'm out.